guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So it is a little bit chilly this morning, so I do have me some French vanilla cappuccino here with some of the sweet cream creamer from Cold Stone International Delight. And I love it, so let me take a quick sip. It is piping hot. Oh, but I'm gonna put that to the side because today I have another Bible unboxing for you guys, and I'm super, super excited. So I did reach out to Zondervan directly. I reached out to the person that is over their Bibles, and um, I sent a professional email, of course. And I will do a video on how to send the emails out if you're interested in requesting things for review. But I did did send a professional email out to them with all of my stats for YouTube and Instagram and explaining what I do um ministry wise and stuff like that and um asked to review the jesus bible as you can see the title says the jesus bible unboxing but yes so honestly i just wanted the esv um translation because i'm not a big fan of the niv i do own one niv bible and the first bible i got my sister was an niv bible but i personally don't care for the niv i prefer esv csb and nlt um as like easy to read bibles but um yeah i reached out to them and asked if i could just review it and um the person kindly responded back and gave me the option of which one to pick and i was super excited about that and it was totally unexpected so um i'm very grateful for them to have agreed to send this bible for me free of charge for of you and i am truly just grateful but it is the jesus bible as you can see here and it is the gorgeous artist edition but this one is the multicolor tan slash teal now on their website it says multicolor tan but on every other site if you go to christianbook.com and amazon it says multicolor teal so even the box says multicolor teal don't know but if you go to the jesus bible um the jesusbible.com website and you look in the esv tr um, translation section this bible will be there but it'll say multicolor slash tan so i'm not sure if it's going to be tan or teal but my box says teal so i'm saying teal um however the case but i have this beautiful bible here for you guys to review and um this is a first impressions now this intro is being recorded literally like a week after i recorded the unboxing but i have already used this bible multiple times i love this bible if you guys follow me on instagram you will see all of the video clips i've shared of me using this bible um i've gone through galatians in this bible already and i have i'm currently in the middle of jonah and then i'll be doing ruth so i will have an actual updated review coming of my thoughts full thoughts on this bible but this video is simply a first impressions this bible retails for 69.99 it is expensive, um, but I think most Bibles range anywhere between 39 to about 80 bucks. So it's not expensive. It's typical to Bibles, especially since this is the artist edition. The person who actually did the cover design is called Britt Bass. So that is amazing and wonderful. But um, you can get this ESV translation in three designs. You can get it in the artist edition in the multicolor teal. You can get it in the artist uh, edition in the black cover, or you can get the gray cloth overboard edition um and then for the niv there are several different ones that you can get i actually had to write them down because there are so many so you can get the gray linen cloth overboard you can get the same multicolor teal but it comes with a lot more teal to it than this one does you can get the pink leather soft overboard you can get the brown leather soft you can get the black leather soft and you can get a blue leather soft so i will leave the esv translation down below links where you can buy it but um if you guys are interested in any more information about the jesus bible just go to the website link is down below to check it out and um i think that's all i wanted to say so now i'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna dive into this beautiful bible because it is absolutely stunning and i thoroughly am enjoying the bible immensely immensely so let's just jump right into this first impression slash unboxing okay guys so here is the overhead view of the bible i am so excited to finally be opening this up with you guys i had it for a couple days didn't open it yet and i'm like tempted to open it but um it's the jesus bible and the esb translation from zondervan again i want to give a huge shout out and thank you to them for sending this bible to me and i apologize if you guys hear any drilling my landlords are downstairs doing things 
but we're gonna dive in so like i said it's the esv translation you can get this in the niv if you are interested this also includes a custom reading experience on the U version bible app which is awesome i do have that app and the contributors for this are going to be louis giglio max licato john piper robbie zacharias and Ramsey alcorn i have read from all of these except for robbie zacharias i have not heard of him nor have i read from him but um as you can see i have the artist edition the artist edition comes in black and it also comes in this design it is the multicolor teal leather soft so i am loving the design of it on the back you guys can see uh, let's hold it this way hopefully this view is fine for you guys but um there's an introduction by louis giglio 66 book introductions that highlight the story of jesus in every book there are seven compelling essays on the grand narrative of scripture there are over 300 full page articles and nearly 700 sidebar articles that reveal jesus throughout all of scripture there is cover art by brit bass there is room for notes and journaling throughout there are two ribbon markers and the type size is 8.7 um which is great and yeah it's from passion publishing but it is published by um zondervan at the same time if that makes sense but we're gonna dive in i'm super super excited so open up the box i think this box is gorgeous um it is stunning the the box itself is gorgeous i'm keeping the box but here is the bible underneath i do have my little receipt from the company so i'm just gonna move that to the side but here is the bible she is stunning like i don't know if it's picking up darko on camera but it's definitely pastel and i love it it's just paint splotches we have that mint green the white the yellow the orange that lavender splotches of red here this nice teal color the gold here on the side it is stitched around the edges i love it um the spine looks like that hopefully i'm getting this in view um but yeah, it has a passion symbol up here it has the jesus bible here and then it has esv down at the bottom with zondervan here's what it looks like oh i love that pink on the back gorgeous but um there is gold gilded edges if you guys can see but opening up i love the end pages they're mint we're here for it that same cross design is really pretty um the jesus bible 66 books one story all about one name esv translation from zondervan you open it up you have your copyright information here on the side you have your table of contents um your old testament new testament there is an intertestamental testamental period sorry i was trying to read that um section as well so we're going to look at that but um like i said i have not opened this this is the first time i'm opening it with you guys um so i'm first impressions i'm loving the the size of the font it's not too small it's not too big it's the perfect shade of dark um that's fine so here's your preface if you don't know anything about the esd translation you can read this to learn about that moving on you have your contributors here so that is awesome and the editor is louis giglio which i love his work i love his work so you have your um introduction to the bible so welcome to the story of god um and then it just gives you that welcome letter it continues for another two pages then you go straight into the old testament so what i like from what i've seen so far is that before each book of the bible begins you have what jesus is within that book so for genesis it says jesus our glorious creator for the book of genesis which is phenomenal then you have your information which is very very small i like that they keep it really concise and they're not um overwhelming you with too much information so they give you um creation abraham goes to canaan they give you some basic things that are important for that book which i'm assuming that is what that is um they give you a scripture here which is genesis 1 and 1 that's nice here's one of those articles here and here are those sidebars so the sidebars literally will point out things about jesus within that text that most of us don't know now i will say the font looks a little tiny um it could just be me but i feel like compared to other bibles that i've seen the font in this is definitely smaller um it is 8.7 so i'm not sure and i think it's just 8.7 across the board or it could be the style of font that makes it look smaller for my eyes compared to this like this looks way bigger than that but if it's the same font size then it could just be the actual type of font that they're using hopefully you guys are picking this up and seeing what i'm saying because i don't know how to explain it but um for genesis 1 and 3 it tells you that let there be light it gives you some information about that um genesis 1 26 27 made in god's image some information about that and it says continued on page six um so that's great here's your article jesus created everything and holds it all together that is awesome 
and here's a continuation of that sidebar from this previous page let me know if this um overhead setting is great for you guys i tried to make sure that there wasn't too much glare from the ring light on the table and i tried to make sure that the um angle was a lot better so please let me know if this works for you guys um okay <laughs> so at the bottom you do have a little bit of information so your basic references i'm um, not cross no cross references or things like that but just basic information at the bottom which is cool um, so like I said, you do have that space here to do some journaling notes. So that is nice. I love the top. So here's one of those articles or essays rather um, about the beginnings. So Jesus as the supreme display of the glory of God. And it focuses on Genesis 1 and 2. And it's from John Piper. So that goes for about four pages or so. Actually more than it, five pages nice so it goes for about five pages and it lets you know that this is the beginning and then it tells you where the other essays are located within the bible so that's great i'm gonna try to show them all but again this is a first impression so <laughs> um sin and here's another article okay so here's that other essay right here it's all about the revolt and it's written by louis Guglio. so it's genesis 3 through 11 um so again five pages as well it seems so that's great it, this book is really just centered around jesus so i think um for me when i study in this i would solely use this to pinpoint things about jesus i wouldn't try to look at other things within the themes or um the scriptures about grace or anything like i would solely use this to study jesus and i think this is going to pair great when i use my um rose book of bible charts maps and timelines because there are a few sections in there where they give you the different names of jesus the different names of god the different names of the holy spirit and i want to study those in depth and i think using that in correlation with this bible that is solely focused on the topic of jesus and understanding jesus throughout scripture is going to be phenomenal so i am highly excited for this but um let's keep going so we're gonna skip ahead so we have exodus and my pages are like not stuck together but like i said it's brand new so i'm trying to get used to it <laughs> so jesus for exodus is jesus our mir miraculous deliverer excuse me um so again it gives you some key things that happen some information here um and i guess a key scripture for that book which will be exodus 14 13 I like the space here and even when you have things like this like the sidebar is filled up you can always put um a sticky note you could also just do tip ends if you wanted to um you can add paper into your bible if need be but i think that this is great um path of deliverance is good that's good so let's move ahead so leviticus is jesus our sacrificial substitute for this they are highlighting leviticus 6 and 7 And I'm just trying to flip through to all of like the page, the book headers, excuse me. Oh, this one is about revolving around worship. That's good. I'm loving the articles in here. Okay. Numbers is Jesus, our gracious provision. Did I miss an article in this one? No. Okay. So for Deuteronomy, it says Jesus, our promised hope. And then the essay for this is going to be people. And it's also written by Louis Giglio and it's Genesis 12 all the way to Malachi. So that's five pages as well, if I'm not mistaken. No, that's actually, yeah, five pages. Joshua is going to be Jesus, our perfect leader. Ruth is Jesus our Redeemer and we all know that I love the book of Ruth. We have studied it on the channel. Um, another, a new study will be coming up soon um, where I'm going to try to have some new notes um, because I feel like there's so much to Ruth and every time I personally study the book of Ruth I get something different every time. So I love that. I did skip um, Judges. So this was Joshua. Judges is Jesus our Righteous Ruler. Like I said, we have Ruth, and that's not going to be too long, so. I can't get this one off. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, our true king. First, first Samuel. So, what's second Samuel? 
Let's get there. Second Samuel is Jesus, our eternal one. First Kings is Jesus, our only hope. And I, like I said, I love that they're giving you something to focus on. So when I do go to study these books, I can focus on Jesus as my hope. I can make sure that I'm looking for that throughout the scripture um, and really comparing these people to Jesus and what they represented to the coming of Christ. I, I, I am excited to study into this. A prophet's warning. This is an article here. Here's Second Kings. Jesus, our perfect prophet. This is First Chronicles. I'm not going to flip through all of them, <laughs> but Jesus, our perfect restorer. So going here, here is one of the ribbon markers for you guys. Then I wish it was a little thicker, but I don't mind it being thin. Um, I just wish it was a little thicker. So um, let's go to Psalms. Now, I wonder how they have Psalm. So Jesus, our praiseworthy king, and that's great because Psalms is all about, you know, praising and worshiping God. Um, so I wonder if they have it broken down by book because you know psalms comes in different books i think book one ends at like chapter 40 or yeah chapter 40 of psalms if i'm not mistaken let's see or is it 41 i don't know <laughs> yeah so there's nothing in between which is perfectly fine what i mean is that um psalm 41 is like the end of the first book of psalms and then you go into the second book of psalms with um psalm 42 so normally in other Bibles, they will have like a separation of like things in between, but that is perfectly fine. Here's book three. All right. So we have that. Let's skip ahead to Proverbs. Jesus, our divine wisdom. Love it. Ecclesiastes is Jesus, our true hope. That is amazing. Song of Solomon is Jesus, our deepest companion. And I think that's amazing to have that there because a lot of the times, a lot of people do not like to study the Song of Solomon um, because they feel like it's overly sexualized or too romanticized. And I think that's the point in um, understanding that each book of the Bible relates back to Christ and it telling you that it's that he's our deepest companion so now that when i go into studying song of solomon i'm not romanticizing this as between a husband and a wife or a man and a woman but more so me and christ and our relationship and the romance between us and the intimacy between us so i'm excited for that um let's look at isaiah we're gonna look at isaiah what does it say jesus our sovereign savior we love that what about well, I forgot Isaiah has 66 books, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. So, Jeremiah is Jesus, our... Oh, here we go with the pages. <laughs> our new covenant. I love that. Lamentations is Jesus, our faithful Lord. I skipped over Ezekiel, so let's go back. Jesus, our true temple. Awesome. And again, this is just a first impressions me flipping through with you guys. Um, so I'm not going too in depth. I will have, like I said, another video. Daniel is Jesus, our great king. And that's great because we know that Daniel is the book of the Bible where they talk about the big statue that um, was created. So that is amazing. What does it say for Hosea? Oh, I love that. For Hosea... It's Jesus, our pursuing spouse, and we, if, well, if you don't know the story of the prophet Hosea, um, God had told the prophet Hosea to marry a prostitute named Gomer, and um, a lot of people do not like to study the book of Hosea, um, but I love the story of Hosea and Gomer. Um, I have not actually studied it in the Bible, but I, I can't wait to, and I think I'm going to study it specifically in here because I love the way they have it as Jesus, our pursuing spouse, because Gomer did run away several times from Hosea, and Hosea kept going to retrieve her um she kept going back to her old way of living and it just reminds me that no matter how many times I run away from God I'm his and he's going to continue to chase after me and I just chef's kiss chef's kiss I love it um Amos is Jesus our justice bearer Jonah oh, our missionary God I love it I've studied Jonah already on the channel um so I'm not gonna go through all these I'm not it's, I, I'd be sitting here all day um so here is the other bookmarker oh you know what before i get there let's go to the end of malachi so malachi says 
sorry guys like i said these pages are like brand new jesus our coming messiah okay so at the end of malachi they say that there is supposed to be here it is here is the intertestamental period <laughs> so um you have that the 400 year break or gap between the old testament and the new testament so it talks about that that's nice then it says new testament um and then it goes into matthew and come on here we go jesus our promised king okay and here is the ribbon marker for that it's like a darker teal where the other one was meant mark is jesus our true god i'm interested to see what the gospels are calling it like what they call it for the gospels luke is jesus our gracious savior what is john we all know i love me some john i love john jesus our great i am yes i love it is there anything for john 3 and 30 that's like my favorite scripture that is the key scripture that i use for the ministry um i love that scripture so much you know what and in that i am actually going to do a quick test so i have a zebra mild liner here this one is in the pink um it comes in the pastel set and then i have one of my favorite pens that i like to write in my bible with it's the f301 ballpoint pen from zebra i'm a fan of zebra um their pens their highlighters they're great i know some people do not but i am going to actually mark my favorite scripture so it is right here he must increase but i must decrease so i'm going to actually underline it I don't see any sh like bleed through or shadowing, but I can tell that I wrote here because I do feel like a the line from the writing, which is fine because I did press a little hard. And I'm going to use the actual highlighter end of this. Um, so I not only don't highlight, I just draw a line, but I wanted to use the actual highlighter. So I know for a fact here it's going to bleed through because there's that like extra point towards the yeah. So definitely, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but right here. Let me just pick up the Bible and I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So you guys can see I highlight it, but right here I already can tell before even flipping the page that that's going to be bleed like bleed through because um, that is where the highlighter sat. So when you actually do flip the page, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but um, right here there is bleed through. It's not severe whatsoever and a little hair at the beginning so depending on how much pressure you put on the beginning and the end of your highlighting there will be a mark but that is perfectly fine for me does not bother me um the shadowing is not even that bad so i'm not sure how well it's picking up on camera but that is excellent so safe to say that these work in this bible um but let's move on let's move on let's move on now i just finished studying galatians so what does it have for galatians yes Jesus, our justification by faith. Yes, I love it. And that is basically what Galatians is all about. <laughs> so what about Ephesians? Um, Jesus, our peace with God. Amen. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I'm like preaching or something, doing all those extra sounds. But I, I really just love that they're giving you exactly what it's focusing on about Jesus. So let's look at Hebrews quickly. Well, what about Philemon? Because, you know, it's only one chapter. It's like, what, 20, 25 verses? So what does it say for Jesus? <laughs> Jesus, our source of reconciliation. Yes, okay, I like that. I get that because in this, we have Paul sending back um, a slave to... He's sending back Philemon. Is it Philemon? Who was he sending back? You know, I don't forgot. I studied Philemon already. But, um... Okay, so he's writing to Philemon about us. Now, I knew it was a slave. I couldn't remember who, but the slave's name was, yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. If you can see it, you can. If not, it'll be on the screen somewhere on the side, but that, that person's name there. Yeah, um, so I like that because Paul was reconciling that slave and that the master back to each other. I like that. Um, James, let's see what James is about. Our perfect example. I love that. What about Jude? Our sustaining grace. Ooh, that's good. Revelation, our worship forever. I love it. I love it. So, hu human stubbornness. Ooh, I'm gonna have to read this. I'm just, I'm in awe of like what I'm seeing thus far. I'm in awe. Um, and then you have one of those essays. 
this one looks to be really long so this one is forever made for a different place by randy alcorn it's focusing on revelation 21 and 22 so i probably would read those books of the bible first before reading the articles because um that just would help me personally with context but this one seems to go a little bit longer than the other ones so far so it's still going keep in mind it's still going and it's still going <laughs> So that's going to be a good one to read. Okay, so when you are done with Revelation, you get to the table of weights and measures and monetary units. That is great. You go to your concordance with abbreviations and things like that, which is awesome as well. So and a concordance is great. I do have an actual like concordance. <laughs> it's the Strong's exhaustive one, the older one. So I do have one, but um, it's a good amount. Um, no maps are in this Bible. But you do have, um, after the end of the concordance, you have some notes pages. So I think this would be great if you want to, like, test run your pens and your highlighters and your markers or your paints before actually putting them in the Bible. I think that's great. I think more Bibles need to come out with, like, pages that literally just say notes for you to test run. So I would literally use, like, this last page right on this back and literally test out all of my pens and markers that I personally like to use in my Bibles. Um, GSM wise of this paper, I cannot tell you because I, I'm not big on GSM paper and all that, but um, the quality, it does seem a little thin, but the fact that my pen can write on it doesn't bother me. And I'm pretty sure if you use a Pigma Micron, it would not be a problem. Um, but I would say test your pens out in the back before utilizing them like that. I want to try I don't think I have one on me no I don't so I'm going to have to go over here real quick and grab one okay so I love using Crayola super tips um the Crayola markers I I like these markers I was using them prior to even finding out about the zebras and I normally get the 100 pack or is it the 50 pack I don't know the, it's the 50 pack that I get from um Walmart or Amazon and um I utilize it so I am going to find a quick scripture. Um, I don't even know what I want to use real quick. Let's do James. James. Um, see, I don't want to per se highlight highlight because <laughs> I think I'm going to use a specific color coding system in here. So what I'm going to do, ooh, this is going to be a little hard to do. I'm going to come over here to this article quickly and highlight something. Might not be the best, simply because um, there is a gray background on it, but that's fine. So we were made for a person and a place. Jesus is a person. Heaven is a place. God promises that all his children will live forever with him in heaven. Um, <laughs> God is everywhere present. I'm actually going to highlight that. That is funny. So I'm just taking the... Uh, what is this the Crayola super tips marker and God is everywhere present literally just highlighting that because I think that's important to understand um so I highlighted it God is everywhere present and let's see if it will you see nothing on the other side like whatsoever I can tell right here is where I marked it but you cannot see that on the camera that is excellent um like I said on that last page, I am just going to once more run through. So I'm just going to write zebra F301. And I know I wrote my, my F backwards. I'm training myself to write them the proper way again. I wrote it three times because I'm going to mark over it. So that's how the pen is. Here it is with the zebra. And I'm also going to draw a line. And then I'm going to highlight with this and draw a line. Just to see. So there it is. Flipping it over. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Um, you can sort of see a little bit of bleed through at the ends. Just because you, that's where you hold the marker at. Let me see if I can bring this closer. But um, it is not that bad, in my opinion. So, I really like this Bible. 
like I'm loving it so far you guys and this is first impressions um me having not used it yet so I cannot wait to actually like dive deep into it and do a full-blown review for you guys but this is just a quick first impressions I love it I highly would recommend if you're looking for a bible that um helps you to really understand Jesus throughout scripture this would be a great one especially for teens um if you're a new believer even if you're like a seasoned believer um in the faith and you're looking for a new study bible per se i wouldn't say this is like a full-on study bible but it does help you to sort of study christ throughout all of scripture this is great i am so excited to have it i'm excited to be able to utilize this and i i love it this edition is just so pretty it is so pretty it's so pretty again it does come in the niv translation so you can get the niv everything will be linked down below for the esv and the niv for amazon and christianbook.com but um, I guess that is it for this video for my first impression. So thank you guys for watching, reading, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.